In this session, we are going to learn about soft support vector machine algorithm for classification problems. And in this problem, we are given n data pairs of the form xi, yi, where xi is the input variable and yi is the output variable or label or class of input variable xi. And in general, xi will belong to d dimensional space. And in the case of support vector machine, we take yi that is label of xi as minus one or plus one. And this is different from other classification algorithms where yi is normally taken as zero or one. Now the support vector machine or hard support vector machine assumes that data is linearly separable, but it is a difficult condition to achieve in real life because the data is often intermingled near the decision boundary. So we cannot use hard support vector machine for most of the realistic data. And we have to relax the condition of linear separability. And that algorithm is called soft support vector machine. The soft support vector machine algorithm incorporates relaxation in the linear separability constraint by modifying the objective function as well as constraint equation in alternate formulation of support vector machine. So in hard support vector machine algorithm, we want the data to be not only linearly separable, but we want all the data points in both the classes. Say for example, here the blue class as well as the red class to be at least one unit distance away from our separating hyperplane. And that is achieved by scaling the normal vector and the constant B so that the scaled value of maximum margin is one unit. And that gives us the constraint equation for hard support vector machine algorithm as yi into w naught dot xi plus b naught greater than equals to one. So what soft support vector machine algorithm does is it relaxes this hard linear separability constraint by introducing slack variables and the slack variable measures extent of violation of our linear separability constraint by individual data points. So here, for example, we see that these two blue data points and these two red data points violate our linear separability constraint and the slack variables xi i's measure the extent of violation of linear separability constraint for each of these data points. So rather than the value of product y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught being greater than equals to one, it becomes y i into w naught dot x i plus b naught should be greater than equals to one minus xi i for point xi. And this we modify for all the data points in our blue as well as red classes. So here we note that we expected all our data points to be at least one unit distance away from our separating hyperplane. But if a data point violates our constraint, then it will be at a distance one minus psi i distance away from our separating hyperplane. And you note that the violation of the constraint may be less than one unit, which is the case for the data point x k and x j. And it can also be more than one unit, which is the case for data point x i and x l, which lie on the wrong side of separating hyperplane, not just the boundary of the class. So with introduction of slack variable, we need to modify the objective function also for soft support vector machine to ensure that our hyperplane is selected such that the points can violate the linear separability constraint, but the extent of violation does not become too much. So we include the average of violation by all the points to our objective function. So we minimize lambda into 
magnitude of W squared plus average value of the slack for all the data point with relaxed linear separability constraint. And here lambda is a hyperparameter that controls the relative importance given to the hard SVM objective function as compared to the average of slack. So for example, for large value of lambda, the hard SVM part of objective function will be more important than the average of the slack. So the hyperplane will be less strict with the slack, whereas if lambda is small, then more importance will be given to average slack and our hyperplane will be more strict with respect to violation of constraint because we want to minimize our overall objective function and the hyperplane thus obtained is called soft support vector machine 